when you were... <laughs> Do you regret doing Playboy now? Do you wish that it wasn't on the CV that you did it? No, I don't. I don't, but I'm, I feel more relieved now that people know why I did it. And I actually looked at the pictures and I thought, damn, I look all right. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the magazine came out, it was the biggest selling Playboy they'd ever, ever had. Apparently it sold out in three days. They had to reprint. <laughs> and... <laughs> And the biggest compliment was um, girl friends of mine had gone out to buy it because they'd known me. They'd gone out to, to, to purchase to see what it was all about. They realised they're very tasteful shots and called me up and said, you know what, you look beautiful. And it was, it, then it felt like a celebration of me, at, only at that point. When you met Julian, you were obviously in love with the guy. What was it that attracted you to him? He was a wild guy, you know, he liked having fun and being a bit crazy and goofy and having a laugh and, you know, we enjoyed each other's friends and I, for me, I thought that's, that's all you want out of a relationship at that stage. How long did it take you to get over it, do you think? A long time. I felt kind of uncomfortable and scared that I did not want to get myself into that same situation. It wasn't about not trusting other people and, oh, I don't want a boyfriend because I won't trust him. I didn't trust me. I didn't trust my instincts anymore. You know, I didn't want to be alone, but I certainly <laughs> thought that being alone was better than messing it up again. Ironically, Julian goes on to star in the American TV series Nip Tuck about plastic surgery and you go under the knife yourself. They're good, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> when you'd had your enhancement, um, how did you feel? When you came out and you suddenly had these whoppers. Knockers. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. I think it was what I needed at that time. Any other scalpel work that we should be aware of? Or... We do a bit of tweaks and turns, but, you know. What kind of, what kind of tweaks are we looking at here? I'm not going to go into <laughs> it, but, you know. See, one thing I'm quite surprised about is you're frowning. <laughs> Well, I thought you were the queen of Botox. I was. I was at one stage. I was the one pegged out as the one having more Botox than anyone, which was very funny sitting next to Sharon Osbourne. 